Hello, and welcome to my channel, Godot Bro. I'm an aspiring indie game dev who's been working in Unity for quite a long time. But much like many indie game devs, I've never actually been able to complete a full game. I've tried many times, but I always end up moving on before I finish anything, which is a habit that I intend to break now. Another thing I intend to change is the engine I'm using. As I said, I've used Unity pretty much my entire game dev career, and I think it's a great engine. However, I think it might not be the best workflow for me personally. To see if that's the case, I've decided to try a new game engine and make a whole channel dedicated to my experience going from zero to hopefully hero with this new engine. The more astute of you may have already guessed what engine I'm going to be using by the name of this channel. That's right, I'm going to be using the Godot engine. I've been thinking about using Godot for a while now, especially since all the Unity stuff happened, but I never really could commit to it, mainly because I have hundreds of dollars of assets in the Unity Asset Store. I wasn't really ready to commit to something else and give up most of those assets. Until something magical happened. I've been thinking of something that I could say to try and break the ice, but I think I'll just go ahead and do it. If you aren't familiar with Brackies, then you probably never touched Unity. Brackies is arguably the best Unity game dev tutorial channel out there. And unfortunately, about three years ago, he retired from YouTube. But just recently, as you can see here, he's back. And this time, He's not talking about Unity. He's talking about everyone's favorite, Godot. In case you made it this far and somehow you don't actually know what Godot is, I'll let Brackies tell you. Godot is a free and fully open source game engine that a lot of developers have recently turned to. And the timing really couldn't be better for this. Godot has actually been around for a while, but in March last year, Godot 4 was released, which was a huge rewrite of the engine, in my eyes making it a great choice for a lot of game projects. Alright Brackies, I'm sold. But I've never touched Godot before, so I'm gonna really need your help with this. Alright, let's get our assets into Godot. Um... Okay. So now we're ready to make our game. So let's talk about how we do that. To make anything in Godot, we use notes. 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 So in its essence, making a game in Godot is combining and extending notes to get the result we're looking for. Got it. So Godot uses something called nodes. As far as I understand, nodes are pretty much just like components in the Unity game engine. So it shouldn't be too hard to do this. So the first thing we did was import a character sprite sheet and he showed me how to walk through getting all those different sprites into the animator as you can see down here. This is the idle animation. And if we zoom in here we can see the little character and he's pretty blurry so we went into the settings and changed them so that he looked pixel perfect. Very nice. And as you can see here, we can play the idle animation and watch him do his little thing. Very cute. After that, we added a collider, as you see that blue circle there. And then we added a script that comes pre-installed with Godot that gives our character some simple movement. And after adding a floor, when we play the game, we can actually move left and right with the arrow keys and jump with the space key. He moves a little too fast and jumps a little too high for our liking, so we change his movement speed and jump height variables here. And that is much better. After that, we started working on the tile sets, which this is really cool, and I like it a lot better than how Unity did it personally. It's really easy to mess with, and as you can see here, I'm changing the top of the tree to be one big cube instead of nine individual ones. And now I'm just painting a level, which is pretty simple. Even though I messed it up here. And a little while later, and I've got this little scene, which a couple problems. Firstly, my character is behind the plants and the camera does not follow me. So now I fixed that and now I'm in front of the plants. As you can see, I've got a wall on the left and the camera follows. And I expanded the world a little bit, as you can see. 
which is quite nice. It makes a couple trees over here. Uh, but I couldn't get up, so I fixed that. And now I even have a moving platform up here, which works so easily compared to how I could do it in Unity. And I'm sure Unity is better than I'm giving it credit for, but you know, this is still simpler for someone like me. Next, we added a coin, which currently doesn't actually do anything except for log it in the console, but we'll fix that later. Next, we added a limit to the camera, so when we fall off the screen, it doesn't keep following us. It just stops at the bottom of the world, which is really nice. A bit of a jump ahead here, we see I've added a background and a slime enemy. Which, if you get hit by him, you jump up a little bit and fall through the level to your death, and then it restarts the level. I added more coins around the level and fleshed things out a little bit. Add this text up here, which keeps track of how many coins you've collected, as you can see here. So after that, we added sounds and music, and basically that was the whole tutorial. So after that, I decided to expand the level a little bit and add a couple small little features here. And here is the final product. You can see the nice background, the music, the loud coin sounds. And now you can stomp on the slime there. There's no sound effect for that, but you know, I did that on my own. I'm so smart. And then once we come across this floating platform here, there's actually more level over here. And, uh, yeah, a couple more slimes. I almost died right there because I'm not good at my own game. And that's it. We completed this little project, and I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. So, I can't tell you how excited I am that Brackies is back doing Godot. I'm really interested to see what he does next, and I'll definitely be watching every video he puts out. And I'll definitely be watching other tutorials as well to try to gain knowledge and experience using Godot. And I'm going to record that process as much as I can as I make little projects and games. And hopefully I'll become good at it and actually be able to release something in the future. One of my biggest problems from the past and why I wasn't able to finish any projects is a lack of motivation. Like many people, I love starting projects. It's really exciting. I get all these ideas of things I want to do. and But then at some point, inevitably, I just, I lose motivation on the project I'm working on and I'm really interested in something else now. And then I put this one project on hold while I start working on this other one. But then not long after that, I lose interest in that and I'm going for something else. And it's just repeating that cycle over and over again. And it's terrible. So one thing I've learned since then is that Working only when I'm motivated to is going to fail all the time because there's inevitably going to be some times when I'm not feeling motivated, but I still need to work. So what do I need instead of motivation? Discipline. So I am very determined to be self-disciplined in this matter and actually complete a project from start to finish, including uploading it up on itch. Now, after saying all that, I do actually have an external motivator this time that I didn't have in all the previous times. And that is that my beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child, which is very exciting. But as a loving husband, I need to take care of them and provide financially. And while my job is pretty good, it's not going to be enough to take care of my family long term. So this venture is more than just about following my dreams, which don't get me wrong, it is my dream. It's also something I see as a necessity for the survival of my family. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and for the sake of my future family, please subscribe and like the video.